Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have a 2021 Ford Ranger. This one is a XLT with the FX2 package. It is a two wheel drive. And it's actually surprisingly pretty nice for uh, being 34,500 MSRP. But uh, what the heck is that? A go-kart, oh my God. Okay, we're back. So I'm just gonna do a night video showing you guys what the headlights look like on this XLT. So I just unlocked the door. You see we have incandescent bulbs right there. A incandescent side marker right there. Coming to the back. The taillights wrap around. And on the XLT you do get LED taillights, which is really nice. Coming along here and it kinda runs along the side there, so it's a pretty cool design. Also LED reverse lights, I'll show you guys that later. Uh, you just have standard bulbs for the license plate lighting, and there is no tailgate light like you get on F-150s. You do have uh, standard bulbs up there for the third brake light. Just give you guys an overall look at the back. All right, stepping inside. Let's get these uh, lights on and see what they look like little graphic right there it does have the sync 4 screen but I'll go over the interior a little bit later so let's turn on uh, headlights and fog lights all right looking at the front you can see we have just halogen reflector headlights right there and we have just regular uh, halogen fog lights on the higher trim the lariat you get LED headlights and LED fog lights if we get one in, I'll do a uh, video on the Lariat. But it has some pretty good lighting. Looks pretty cool in the front. The back, of course, still looks the same from when I uh, unlocked the doors. All right, I just turned on the turn signal. And like I showed you guys earlier, it is just a regular standard bulb. There is no turn signal on the mirror, but coming to the back here, you can see it's pretty bright on the wall. You do get a nice LED turn signal that is amber colored right here. So that's a good touch that they put that on there. All right, just turn on the high beam. You can see it lights up that inner one right there and also keeps the other one lit up. Very nice, bright, cool looking high beam. All right, real quick, I wanna go over the interior lighting. There is no ambient lighting on this trim level. I think the Lariat does have ambient lighting, but these LED lights up here really light up the cabin really nicely. Stepping inside, there is no light in here. And let's check the glove box. And unfortunately, there's no light in the glove box either. And then it has a little light back there for the rear passengers that you can push on and off. And let's quickly go over this gauge cluster. So this is a very old school gauge cluster. Like Ford has had this uh, for quite a while now because the Ranger is kind of a dated model, even though it came out only in uh, 2019. But you can see you have some cool little uh, information on there. Truck info shows your off-road stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. And you just have the regular standard uh, Sync uh, 3.4 right here. So this is all, uh, it works good once you get to pressing it, then it starts going fast. But yep, this is all just standard forward equipment right here. Looking down, you got all your climate controls. You have two uh, fast charging USBs lit up down there. This is to control your auto start, stop, and other stuff. Um, there is no light on the gear shifter, unfortunately. You do have to look up there. But overall, the interior is pretty nice. Um, I do wish there was light in the glove box and in here though. But I'll have to check out a Lariat once we get one of those. The vanity mirrors don't have any lighting on them either, so that kind of sucks. Looking at the back seat, there are a power locks on the rear doors, which is very interesting because Ford usually doesn't include those. So it's kind of interesting that it's on the Ranger out of all cars. But uh, you do get some pretty good illumination back here. Um, the USB ports, there are two back here, but they're not lit up. And you do have a center armrest. Um, I'll try to do a full review of this truck a little bit later. But overall, back's not too bad. Alrighty, setting off in the Danger Ranger. 
So I'm going to go to a dark um, street over here where I can show you guys what the headlights look like in a dark street. And then I'll go to a wall and show you guys what the headlights look like. Actually, I'm just going to show you guys right here. There's a perfect wall right here. Okay, so you can see it's not terribly widespread. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn off the fog lights. So these are just the headlights. They're bright enough, um, not very wide. High beam. High beam is very bright. Um, more focused in the center, obviously, but it's, high beam is pretty good. Uh, fog lights do help light up the bottom there. Fog lights are very helpful. This is just fog lights. And the fog lights actually go out pretty straight because they're so high up on the bumper. So that's nice. And just the high beam. But yeah, overall headlights, not too bad, but I do like the LEDs a lot better on the Lariat. Alrighty guys, getting ready to enter a pretty dark street over here. So you guys can see what these headlights light up. And there's a car coming, so I'm gonna wait till that goes by. All right, car just went by. You can see it lights up pretty good. Um, no fog lights. Oh wow, fog lights make a huge difference. But yeah, they, they do the job. All right, guys, just put the Ranger back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for a review video of these new 2021 Rangers I have right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.